Oh no, I think I made a mistake. Oh no! Oh my god, wait, no! I'm so close! Hi everyone, welcome back to Karen Puzzles. So I just spent over a month working on the 9,000 piece puzzle. So I thought today it might be time for something a little smaller. So I'm going to be doing a 16 piece puzzle. <laughs> A little different from 9,000. This is the new one from Yu Asaka. If you remember, he's the one who designed that green puzzle that was all corners and then a handful of others that I have featured here on this channel. So this is the Jigsaw 16. The goal is just to put a bunch of Jigsaw puzzle pieces into the tray. So <laughs> let's open it up and take a look. All right, so my first impression right off the bat of this puzzle is that they have seriously upgraded the packaging. Here is an old one of his that I'm gonna be solving on this channel soon, but if you remember, they used to just come in these plastic bags with a little flyer on the back. And now he has this fully designed cardboard packaging. So let's take a look and see what's inside. Ooh, oh wow, this feels really like heavy and sturdy. All right, so it looks like we have 16 puzzle piece shapes cut out of this tray. And then we have 16 puzzle pieces that look like they should all fit in here, but obviously there's some sort of trick and they're not all just gonna fit where they seem to fit. And since it's this plastic acrylic, it could flip either this way or this way. We don't know at which side is the top or the bottom, which makes it trickier. But I feel like I've done enough Yu Asaka puzzles by now that I'm sort of familiar with the types of tricky, tricky tricks that he likes. <laughs> so um, the box says that this should take 30 minutes and it is a three out of five difficulty level, so Hopefully I can figure this out. <laughs> and start. Oh my God, oh my God, this is so nerve wracking already. I thought I was fine, I'm not fine. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is just take a look at what pieces we have, sort of separate them out by shape. So are these the exact same shape? It looks like this half of it is all exactly the same, but then these prongs are at different levels. I'm gonna start by just putting them into the spot where it looks like they could go, um, you know, to see why that's not going to work. Hmm, oh, interesting. Interesting. Okay, I should tell the camera what I'm doing. <laughs> Ooh, I bet that one fits. No, that one doesn't fit there. Oh my, wait, this one fits. No, that one doesn't fit there. Oh my God, this is so confusing. Ah, already. <laughs> so I'm already seeing what the issue is gonna be. This in is kind of low, so we have a little guy and then a big guy. And on here, we have a little guy and then a big guy. But when I try to put it in place, this prong is at the wrong, you know, it's more centered or it's more to the right on here. And then on the piece, it's more to the left. So it doesn't quite fit. So I actually think maybe a corner piece is what's gonna have to go in there. Maybe this one. Yes, okay, that one fits because it has the little guy there, the big guy there, and then we're just not using these two prongs. So I think that's what the trick is gonna be because there's only 16 spots and there's only 16 pieces. So all we can do is put one piece in each spot. Like it's not physically possible to do anything else. So I think we just have to keep moving them around until they fit in spaces that they don't, that it doesn't look like they were designed for. Ooh, okay, I got one, I got one, it fits. Ooh, oh, that's, that's tricky. Look, it looks like it should have an edge, but it's actually big enough to account for the entire piece that has things on each side. Ah! 
I have a suspicion that not a single piece is gonna fit in the shape that it looks like it was designed for. So that kind of eliminates a lot of the pieces from like where, where they could go. Okay, well, these three are not fitting in any of the spots I have left, so it's time to do some rearranging. But I'm only seven minutes in. I feel like I'm doing fine. Oh my God, every time you think it's gonna fit and then it doesn't quite fit, it's so maddening. I think I'm gonna be here for a little while. This might not be as fast as I initially was hoping. Okay, this one definitely seems to be the easiest to, to place, this corner that has the two ins, because um, where I'm running into a lot of trouble is all of these prongs not being at quite the right level. So I think this one could fit into almost all of these. Maybe I'll just leave it off to the side and that'll be the last one I put in. I feel like I should be a little more like methodical going into this. Like I should almost treat it like a Sudoku where I number each piece and then try each piece in each spot and then write down like which ones could fit where, and then from there, it's just a Sudoku. Well, sort of, it's like a logic game at that point. Okay, I'm gonna give it like three more minutes, and if I'm not making any more progress, that might be what I have to do. Um, okay, um, what am I gonna do? <laughs> I think I might go grab a couple supplies. I'm gonna leave everything running and I'm gonna leave the timer running. So this is all part of my time. I'll be right back. Oh boy. All right, I've got a pen. I've got some post-its. I'm gonna draw out basically just a little grid and then I'm gonna cut up the sticky part of the post-its to make little stickers so that I can number all of the pieces. So should I just take all of them out? Oh my God, should I start from scratch? I think that's what I have to do because otherwise I'm just gonna keep rearranging them forever. I need to be a little more methodical about this. Oh my God, that's painful. I, I feel like I made so much progress, but that's the trick with all his puzzles that you feel like you're making progress, but you're really not. First piece. Piece number one. <laughs> so now I'm just gonna go ahead and try it in all the different places that I could go, remembering to flip it over in each spot as well. Okay, I could go there. This is gonna take literally forever. Cue the time lapse. <laughs> Oh boy, so it turns out the first piece that I tried could go into literally six different spots. Let's hope they're not all like that. Oh, so 30 minutes in, I might have made my first breakthrough. Piece number seven can only fit in one spot. And it's a spot that like almost all of the other pieces could also fit into. So um, how did it go? <laughs> there we go. So I think this one, I'm gonna move the number to the other side. I think this one is definitely a lock. 30 minutes in. <laughs> Oh boy, okay, 37 minutes in, and I think I have another one. Number 11 can only go in this spot down here. 
Oh my God. <laughs> I really thought this was gonna be quick. This one is not quick. Oh man, I was right. This piece, the corner with the two ends, that can fit into literally every spot on the board. <laughs> All right, 43 minutes in, I have two pieces left, and then I can actually start figuring this out. <laughs> Oh boy, okay. So here is where we ended up on our logic problem. So now I think I can actually make progress because 14 is the only one that can fit down here. And then that means that here where it's only three or 14, this one would have to be three. So then I'll go through and cross off three and 14 and then see where we are on the rest of the board. Okay, all right, 14. And then that means that three has to go here. The other tricky part is remembering which direction they could fit in. Also, I'm about to like write all over this and start crossing things out. And it's always possible that I could have made a mistake and a piece does fit where I just like didn't notice it would have fit. I didn't try that direction. So I could mess the whole thing up right now. Ooh. Okay, so that means that down here, that means the next one is gonna be 12 and then oh that means that this one is gonna be 16. Oh, this is so satisfying now. Oh, I love this. Oh, if I cross off 16, that means that this one has to be nine. Does it? Wait, how did nine fit in there? Oh my God, did I write? No, it fits. Okay, it fits. I didn't make a mistake, it fits. Oh, that means that down here, this one has to be piece 15 and then that's this one, that's gonna be piece 13. That means that this one has to be piece number one. Uh-oh, uh-oh, wait. Oh no, I have one up here where I've already put in all the pieces that it could be. I've crossed off, oh no, I think I made a mistake. Oh no! Well, I'm gonna keep going. I'm just gonna see where this <laughs> leads me. Maybe I'm close enough that I can still figure it out. Huh, 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 huh. Okay, well, the only place, oh no, this one too. Ugh, no, okay. Okay, well, the only place that eight could fit now is gonna be this one up here. The only place that five could go now is gonna be this one up here in the corner. And then 10, so this is the only place now that 10 could go. Okay, wait, six. Oh my God, wait, does it fit? Does it fit? Oh no, 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 I'm so close. Okay, wait, let me try this way. Oh my God, wait, no, I'm so close. I made a mistake somewhere in here, and now this, the very last piece does not fit, and I've crossed off all my work. <laughs> I think I just need to try all of the pieces in this one spot that's left. Okay, it's been an hour. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna stop the timer for a sec. I'm gonna go back into the old footage. I'm gonna recreate what I had before I had crossed everything out. And then I'm gonna start over and try to get these in place because I just cannot do it like this. Okay, I have made my new little chart. So hopefully this time I'll do it a little more slowly and figure this out. So as we determined, 14 is the only one that can fit down here. So I'm just gonna go ahead and, I mean, I just, at some point I have to trust that I did something right, right? Like I can't just start completely over from scratch. <laughs> No, okay, I definitely made a mistake because I have two spots left where the only thing left on my chart is 13 and 13 can't go in both spots. So let me, now, now that I know where the problem sections are, I'm gonna try every single other piece back in those two spots to see 
like what else can fit that I might have missed on my chart. <laughs> Okay, I think I might have found my mistake. Um, I think that six can actually fit in here. And that means that 13 can go here. And then let's see, let's see if that just works out with the rest of what I have left. Oh my God, oh my God, I did it, oh my God. <laughs> okay, I found my mistake. And, oh, oh my God, stop the time, stop the time. Okay, I did it, finally. <laughs> that was the hardest US Aqua puzzle by far. Did I like make that too co more complicated than it needed to be? Why did that take so long? So the mistake that I had made is, um, you see this piece right here? I had been trying it just like this with the straight edge against the straight edge. You actually have to flip it over so that you have an empty spot there and an empty spot up there. So here is a close look at the solution as well as all of my numbers, if you wanted to compare that back to the chart that I showed earlier. And I was right, not a single piece fits into a spot that is the same shape as the puzzle piece. Hey guys, editing Karen here. So now that I'm looking at the footage, I'm realizing that my first solution was exactly right. And the number six piece was in my hand and I literally tried it in the spot that it needed to go. I just didn't flip it upside down so that the straight side was on the side it needed to go. So I was so close. So I could have been done at like 52 minutes instead of what, like an hour and a couple minutes. <laughs> and if you remember, this is the exact same thing that happened with the Oleo puzzle. I was so close and then second guessed myself and like rearranged everything and it took me like an extra 10 minutes. Anyway, back to the main video. So my final time was an hour and six minutes. I'm gonna just real quick, just look up, see if anyone else has done this puzzle on YouTube. Okay, so Chris Ramsey did this puzzle but he did it in a video that doubles up with a puzzle that I have not done yet. So I could not watch that video myself, but I had my Instagram audience watch it and just tell me his time, which was 24 minutes and 15 seconds. And I also watched Mr. Puzzle's video and he did it in almost exactly 30 minutes. So, <laughs> They both beat me on this one. This was not my best showing. But honestly, watching Mr. Puzzles' video, he didn't have that much more of a strategy than I did. I think he looked at the shape and the prong placement a little more carefully than I did. But otherwise, it's really just kind of putting them in place and rearranging them until you figure out the solution. And so it's really not my favorite Yu Asaka puzzle because there's not like one final aha moment. So because of that, I was able to just use a brute force method, which worked, but you know, it took a while. Oh, and then one more thing, I realized that I never tried putting all the pieces together into one jigsaw puzzle like they have in the picture on the box. So let's just try that and see if we can make a, a full square. Okay, well, I'm not sure if you're actually supposed to be able to fit these into a full square, but I made this little shape, which is fun. I mean, they're just fun to like, to play with outside of solving the real puzzle. <laughs> well, <laughs> I would love to know, 
I mean, I think that's a pretty solid strategy. It took a while, but I got there in the end. But besides this, what other strategies could I have used? Feel free to discuss down in the comments. Um, I wanna say a big thank you to Puzzle Master for sending me this puzzle. They also sent me all of the other Uesaka puzzles that I haven't done yet, so those will be coming out on my channel very soon. Oh, and Patreon. I was thinking that for this week's bonus Patreon video, I'd release an extended cut where you see it almost in real time without all of the sped up time lapses. You can support my channel and get bonus videos pretty much with every video that I release. Um, there's a bonus one on Patreon. All of that for $3 a month, and everybody who signs up over there at $3 a month or above, everybody gets all the same perks. Oh, we need a code word. Okay, your code word is going to be Sudoku. <laughs> I'm calling this the Sudoku strategy. I need to get better at ending videos quickly. Good night, everyone. Goodbye. <laughs> Happy puzzling. <laughs>